Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So, as you can see from the title, we are continuing my Pride Flag uh, series videos. And today's video is going to be on this uh, flag right here. It's actually the lesbian uh, flag. So, just like red oranges and pinky purples with a uh, white. And that, which is why I've done the white liner. So, let's just... Ooh, just nearly dropped. Me, oh, no, I didn't. I thought I dug my nail into my primer then. <laughs> primer today, I'm just using my Ultimate Eye Base by Revolution Pro. I've already got my tape on, and yeah, let's just hit it. So, I'm just not long finished uploading my newest my second video which is just the traditional pride flag so i'm really really happy that i'm doing this series still again i'm having so so much fun oh what did i put the palette palette i'm using today is the new bright uh 2.0 palette by beat bay and the first shade i'm going in with is brick it's just this shade right here and I'm using some uh, new brushes as well. I got the um, Beat Bay uh, set. So I'm using quite a few new brushes for this video. I'm just doing this back up. The only downside of this is, is it got a very, very strong uh, scent to it. So a bit like, ooh, sometimes with the scent. The first brush we're going in with is Fair Shade, and that's going in with that shade uh, Brick. And this is just going to go all over my lid and up to my crease. Where's my um, fan actually? I'm just going to put my fan on because I'm a bit hot. So if you hear any whirring, that's why. Yeah, I'm just doing uh, pattern motions first with this shade. I don't know why I always crunch in when I start filming. And we are winging it out a touch, but uh, that's on. I'm going to go in with the brush uh, cut crease and I'm going to go in with the shade um, Fire, which is just this one right here. And first I'm just gonna actually tap along the edges, just so that the pigment's down. And because doing small tapping motions actually helps blend it as well, then Tap off whatever's left on the brush and start doing small circular and windshield wiper motions. I've taken this out a little bit past the brow, but nowhere near like sometimes I do. Yeah. <laughs> brush. Now that's on. I'm just really putting the um, packing these on first and then I'll go in and properly blend afterwards. Next I'm taking the brush the perfect blend and I'm taking um some of taxi this brush right dip brush this shade right here and I am taking small um, amounts with this because as you can see right there it is quite pigmented and I'm gonna First, do what I just did, which is just tap it on, and then do small, not small, just start to blend this out. And this palette is, I actually think it's one of their best palettes they brought out today in terms of the uh, pigment and the blending. Like, it just, the colours just blend. Mm. Absolutely amazingly. So I'm gonna go back in with that shade uh, Taxi, that orangey shade. I'm just gonna 
start blending a touch more. So yeah, the pigment in the blendability in this palette is a 10 out of 10. The pigment is a 10 out of 10. So far, everything just a 10 out of 10 for this palette. I'm so glad I got it. I'm just getting over a touch of brick, that first shade. I got this pretty much a day or two after it uh, was announced, and I'm so glad. Actually, I tell a lie, I didn't get this palette. <laughs> My mum actually paid for, for it for me, because I got some other palettes as well, and she paid for this palette for me. My mum is seriously, I've always said this, my mum is my biggest supporter, as evidenced by the fact that she helps fuel my uh, my uh, addiction to makeup. <laughs> Going in with that shade there, uh, Taxi, once more, and just blend in one final time. Yeah, I absolutely love my mum. She's my best friend. And I'm getting with the um, brush that had a tax um, fire on it, the cookie brush, just to blend between taxi and brick one final, final time. And now, if I can find where I put my brushes, I'm going to go in with a. Um, oh, where did I put that palette? Gonna go in with the Glisten Cosmetics X uh, Clay Drop um, eyeliner palette. I'm gonna take this shade here, the white, this um, split pan here, and I'm gonna be using the white shade. This uh, is just called Charlie, and just going to first give my brush a couple of spritzes of. Uh, my priming water and I'm just going to carefully do a line a wing brush or two as always I can't really talk when I'm doing this so I don't can't see this. A bit more of that um, priming water, just adding a touch. More just because I really want this to be as opaque. As I can get it. I take my fan and help this dry. The last thing I want to do is open my eye and have it smudge over my eye. That would be terrible. Mm. To make it even slightly more opaque, I'm going to take some of the shade uh, Sneakers, just the white, and I'm taking that on the. Um, wing it brush and I'm just gonna start uh, packing it on to that wing just to really ensure that it's nice and white
Now, I'm just going to uh, put a mega wipe in the penny of the fallout and ensure that this line is as crisp. And sharp as I want it to be. Yep. So guys, I'm just trying to find where I put my primer. I have no idea where I put it. Oh well, looks like it was. Oh no, I've got it. Yeah, duh, it's right in front of me. Blind woman. <laughs> primer. I'm just using my Elf Paulus uh, Putty Primer. Whilst this sinks in to my skin, after I clean it off my finger, I'm going to bronze up my face. And for bronzer, I'm using my primer infused um, bronzer in Forever Sun Sunkissed by Elf Cosmetics, taking it on the BH Cosmetics Zodiac brush in Pisces. Uh, has ever, anyone watched the uh, Jubilee? And then anybody watch it? I thought it was freaking fantastic. I didn't watch it all. I caught the last bit of it, but it was definitely amazing. I still can't get over the fact that the Queen is officially the longest reigning monarch we have ever had. That is so, so cool. For concealer, I'm taking my Light Ivory Concealer in... Uh, by Elf Cosmetics, that's just the, well, that's the shade name, Light Ivory, the concealer is actually the Hydrate Camo Concealer. Mm. Oh. I'm going to dry it out a touch, as well as pick up everything that I've just knocked off the table. Still learn, still deciding if I like drying up my concealer a bit. Because I found not really seeing if it's making much of a difference. Some people might be able to, but right now I can't. This is only like the fourth time I've done it, so give it a couple more tries and then we'll see. Powder, no real shock. I'm taking my peaches. Powder by I Hope Revolution. I swear next week I'm gonna be getting loads. I'm gonna be putting a big order in to get some loads of stuff. Well not really a big order, I'm gonna be putting a bit of an order in. So just so I can replenish some of the stuff I've I'm running low on. So I'm not always using the exact same stuff in my video, even though I tend to, at least for facial wise. <laughs> for mascara, if I can get it open, I'm using my 5D Lash Power Mascara by Makeup Revolution. Now I'm going to have to be trying to be really, really careful because I do not want this mascara go on my liner. Since I've got this, this is the uh, compact mirror 
from the Revolution Pro X Marilyn Monroe collection and since I've got it I've used it religiously right for those who don't know me in real life I love Marilyn Monroe I think she was a friggin icon I was obsessed with her I used to have a Marilyn Monroe um, duvet Sadly, I had to get rid of it because it ripped and I couldn't salvage it. I think somewhere in the flat I've got Marilyn Monroe um, 3D pictures, which are so cool. I'm probably going to be putting them up in my new place whenever I do move because I am looking into moving because both me and my mum, because we have flats literally across each other, we hate it here. It's just, I swear. When I first moved here, I thought this estate was going to be absolutely amazing because it's a new estate. I thought it'd be fun. I'd hopefully meet some new people. Have met new people, but this estate where I'm living is one of the bitchiest estates and backstabbing estates that I've ever, ever lived on. To compare it, I'd rather do high school again. That's how bad this is. Right, in terms of the people talking behind your back and everything and yeah I'm doing it right now but that's because I literally do not talk to anybody anymore there's only a couple of people I talk to and they are the few nice people on this estate everybody else on this estate me it is that bad it's just really really bad and plus we want to move anyway because we want to try and get closer to my granddad with him being still really ill because basically he is like I've said it before my granddad is dying he's in major heart failure so we want to try and get close to him the first purple I'm going in with is this one right here it is Throne Ooh. Throne I never noticed that before <laughs> and I'm taking it on <laughs> I'm taking it on the on flake uh, brush by Beat Bay I just nearly dropped the palette on my dog's head. I don't want to do that because he's he looks so cute right now. He's sleeping. So yeah, I'm just taking this all under my yeah, all under my lash line basically. Not my lash line, me. I but I am taking it all the way up to my lashes are close as. I'm gonna go in with the shade um, Mulberry, which is this one. <laughs> I'm taking it on the Capricorn brush by BH Cosmetics. It's on their Zodiac uh, collection. And this is just gonna go underneath where I just put him um, thrown. Just using this to blend it out. Then I'm going in with um, Rom Com, which is this pinky here. And I'm taking this on the uh, Blurred Lines brush, and that's just going underneath it all. And then. <laughs> To um, help everything blend a touch more, I'm going in with the Taurus brush by BH Cosmetics and my, a bit of my translucent um, setting powder by the collection. I'm just going underneath all of this to, to give it one final blend and ensure that everything is seamless. I'm 
my inner color highlighter today I'm using is Saint Star Child by the Collective Cosmetics. Give that a bit of a spritz. And I'm taking this on the um, Shade Out brush by Beauty Bay. Up in there and under my brow bone. Because it's like a slightly whitish highlighter. I thought it would look quite nice. And tying with the white of the. Um, yeah. <laughs> the white of the eyeliner. I'm just gonna bronze up my cheek, my face. <laughs> Don't know what I'm humming, but. That's Blush, where did I put it? In between, no, it's not. Hmm. Yes, it is. Uh, I just dug my nail in it. Gross. Uh, for the blush, I'm taking the Primer Infused Blush in Always Silly by Elf Cosmetics. Taking it on the all the rounder brush by the beat bay. It's always bronzing it, not bronzing it, placing it in right high up as well as into front of my side of my forehead. Make up a little reddish nose because I think that's super cute. Um, a bit on my chin and the top of my lip. For highlighter, I'm using my Tangled uh, highlighter by I Heart Revolution, taking it on the uh, Glow Better brush by Pete Bay. And before I do this, actually, I'm just going to give my face a little bit of a uh, spray. It's not too much, and being careful of my my eyeliner. Then, no. yep. Yeah, I've got some in there. But that is pretty, a very golden, deepish gold highlighter. <laughs> I think this highlighter specifically would actually look really, really beautiful on dark skin tones because it's quite dark. But it's all it just the tone of it. It would look beautiful on dark skin tones. But obviously, I can get away with it as well. So long as I don't use too much of it and I'm careful. No, I'm just going to get the lid off. Uh, finish me mascara on the bottom of the bottom lashes. So a couple more coats to the top. Never, never hurts to put more I think this I think I broke my pumper for that because it's not really doing it as easy now. <laughs> Uh, lips, I'm taking my Makeup Revolution X uh, Stoph lipstick. This is in the shade uh, Syrup, just a slight nudie shade. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'm not taking this one, I'm gonna take the shade Fudge, it's a bit darker. That's better. Is it better? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> now, 
Ich hab keinen Zähl. Ich hab mich fest. <lacht> Alright, guys. Knock him off that over. Don't do that. Alright, guys. This is the completed look. Like I said, the lesbian flag. I hope um, you're enjoying these videos. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Smash that bell notification. Uh, leave me a... I think I've already said comment. Yeah, so I already said like, comment, subscribe. But anyway, leave me a comment. <laughs> also follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.